In this video, we will explore how we can use input and output parameters in an action block. To demonstrate the use of input and output parameters, we will create a simple action block to convert a temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Our action block will take the Celsius value as an input parameter, which is a decimal type. The output parameter will be used to return the converted Fahrenheit value, which is also a decimal. To perform the conversion between Celsius and Fahrenheit values, we will use the set variable action with an expression. The expression will use our Celsius input value, perform the mathematical conversion, and save the value into the Fahrenheit output parameter. The action block is now complete and ready to be used. Now let's create a macro to demonstrate how to pass input parameters and how to receive output parameters. For this example macro, we will use a floating button trigger to pop up a message showing the current battery temperature. We create two local variables of decimal type one to store the current battery temperature in Celsius, and one to store it in Fahrenheit. Next we use a set variable action to save the current battery temperature into our Celsius local variable. Then we call our action block to perform the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. For the input variable, we pass our local variable containing the Celsius value. For the output variable we use our local Fahrenheit variable. The final step is to create a pop-up message that will show the current battery temperature in Celsius and in Fahrenheit. We display firstly the Celsius local variable value, followed by the Fahrenheit value, along with formatting to indicate what each value is. The macro is now ready to run. We can now test our macro by tapping the floating button to see the current battery temperature in both Celsius and Fahrenheit.